Hello everybody, we are here today with another video and today we're going to talk about why to use DCF in valuation. In the last video we talked about three valuation approaches, DCF, assets and comparative methods. Today we're going to talk about discounted cash flow and why to use it for small businesses, why to use it for high growth company. Yeah, percentage of discounted <laughs> I always do this. So why is discounted cash flow the main method that we actually use for valuation of companies? Discounted cash flow is the main method because it actually takes into account the specificity of the company. Each company has specific cash flows, each company has specific competitive advantages, specific assets, specific people, specific markets and specific products. When you use discounted cash flows, you're taking into account all these things, both for you and for an eventual buyer or investor. When using comparative methods and comparing your companies to others, you lose some of that specific data and it becomes really an average of all the other companies. So you want to look at your company specifically in order to understand and be as accurate as possible with your valuation. Discounted cash flow is also the only way for you to understand the synergies for a buyer or a potential investor. What are the synergies? Synergies are the aspects of the deal that are really targeted to that deal and that can increase the actual price of a purchase. And the last but not least aspect of discounted cash flow is that this approach is the only one that allows you to calculate returns on capital. So returns on capital are actually very important for you as the main investor in the company, but also for an eventual buyer or an eventual investor, in the sense that the same money can be invested in, in your company, can be invested in another company or an array of different investment opportunities. Understanding that the return on equity that your company can have is actually high enough to sustain its risk is actually very important and it can only be seen from discounted cash flow methods. Obviously, discounted cash flow is also generally hard to calculate in the sense that you really have to project the revenues and the costs of a company for the coming three to five to 20 years, depending really on the sector. There are some sectors that require and allow a longer forecasting, but say a minimum of three years is generally really, really important. And this can be hard if the company is really small, if the company is early stage, if the customers and the future market are still very uncertain, it can be pretty hard to do. A lot of people actually take the shortcut of not using discounted cash flow for risky companies. However, it is really the only method that can allow to look into the potential of the company and to look into the risk of the company. There are, there are two aspects to the risk of a discounted cash flow method itself. One is the actual risk of achieving those cash flows, and that's like the company risk. But then there is another risk, which is the risk of making the wrong estimations. What we are trying to do and what consultants try to do and generally experts in this field try to do is to minimize that risk. Look at the past of the company, use it to project the future and generally try to know as much as possible about the company in order to make those projections realistic. And that's generally also where buyers and sellers generally disagree or investors and entrepreneurs generally disagree. It's not really on the valuation itself, but it's on the reliability of the financial projections. The last important thing about this kind of cash flow is that it allows you to do a bit of decision making. So when you create your financial projections for the discounted cash flow, you can test different scenarios, you can test how the company is going to evolve, you can also see how much capital the company actually needs, and then you can see what scenario actually has the highest valuation. It could really even help in making business decisions. And if you want to take it to the next level, you could even do discounted cash flow on a regular basis and manage your company for value, for creating value for your shareholders and ultimately for you. <laughs> 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 Subscribe. <laughs>